is coming to the streets of Frisco, and the ultimate goal is for a van to give rides without a driver behind the wheel. Marianne Martinez, live to sort through this for us tonight over at the Star in Frisco. One of the spots people will be able to catch a ride, we understand, right? That's right, Doug. When this program first comes to Frisco in July, this will be one of the stops here, just confined to this area of Frisco. Now, the makers of the car say that safety is very important to them, and they will be installing signs to let pedestrians know there are automated cars around. It's not the prettiest color by the manufacturer's own admission, but Drive AI says it picked this orange hue so you can't miss its self driving cars. Cameras mounted on the car and sensors are supposed to tell the car what to do. Within 50 yards, uh, someone ran out in front of the car. And before the people inside the car recognized that the car had already stopped. The pilot program starts in July. The cars will be confined to this office entertainment area of Frisco. They will have a driver at first, says the car's maker. Start in July, be undergoing extensive testing before we take the next phases to move the driver, safety driver, over to the passenger seat and the chef room, and then later to rely only on our remote operator. Crashes involving different models of self driving cars have left many people rattled. In March, Uber's self driving car ran over an Arizona woman with a bike, killing her. There was a driver at the wheel. Uber's self driving car program in Arizona has been halted. In Texas, a law passed a few months ago requiring driverless cars on highways to comply with all traffic laws. They must also have cameras and be insured. I'm 100% against it, so. Yeah, so it's still uh, not ready for this kind of technology yet. So I would wait maybe another 10 years. Drivers who do want to take the rides will be able to order one on their phone just like they would an Uber or a Lyft, and the rides will be free during that pilot program. Reporting live from Frisco, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. Marianne, thanks very much. So, all of this made us think the van we see in Marianne's story is the same compact cargo van that a lot of you may have seen roaming the streets in New York City as taxis, maybe see them on the internet. The Frisco program, just so you know, is starting small. They'll have just four vehicles operating, and they'll do that only during weekday, day. Daylight hours initially, and also only on roads that have speed limits of less than 45 miles an hour.